What we're gonna do with this bench here today is to upcycle it for our dining room. As you can see, there's a bit of varnish and stain on it. We need to remove that for us to be able to put a paint or a varnish over the top of it. For this job, you'll need a paint train, a roller, a brush, some varnish, you've got your paint, your undercoat, we've got safety glasses, we've got a mask, earmuffs, and also an electric sander. I could do this job by myself, but I've roped in some friends to give me a hand. I'm using an electric sander, but if you don't have an electric sander, you can use this sand block and sandpaper as well. When sanding, it's important to go with the grain of the timber, otherwise you're gonna mess it up. It's really exposed the natural grain in the timber. Now we just have to give it a really good clean up and it's ready for a paint and a varnish. Once you've cleaned the dust from sanding away, you are then able to do an undercoat with the stain blocker. What that stain blocker does is it stops that stain from coming through to your top coat. So when you get your varnish, make sure there's no bubbles in the tin and hopefully those air bubbles will rise to the top and escape the actual varnish. When you're painting and varnishing something, you wanna make sure that you varnish first and then paint second. Do one coat of varnish, wait for two hours for it to dry. Sand between each coat, do another coat, let that dry for two hours. After the first coat of varnish, you wanna use a nice light sandpaper to sand between each coat. That will help the two layers stick together. So we've got our first coat of varnish on the seat, now it's time to paint. After two coats of varnish and two coats of paint, you're ready to put it in your house and style it. And there you have it, an afternoon with my mates and we've got something ready to be styled in the dining room. You could throw a few new pillows on it, even a throw over the top.